If you've got a plain boring door like this one, you'll be happily surprised to see what $26 worth of trim and moldings can do to transform it. I used two 12 foot long pieces of trim and moldings from Westlake Royal Building Products. I chose the one by two trim. I played with tape to come up with a design that I liked for my door. I measured the dimensions of the pieces that I would need and I cut them using my miter saw. They cut extremely easily and cleanly. For the upper left corner, I set the cuts at two 45 degree angles so that the corner pieces would fit together perfectly. I used construction adhesive to adhere the trim to the door and kept it in place with tape while it dried. I also made sure that the pieces were straight using a level. Since my particular door opens inward, I made sure to place my trim pieces in place with the door closed. So that way I was sure the door would open and close easily after I added the trim. When it came to the area around the doorknob, I left a little space above and below the knob, just in case I ever need to change the doorknob in the future. Once the pieces were added around the larger frame of the door, I then started adding the center horizontal pieces. These are cut using just simple straight cuts. Next, I removed the tape and then added a bit of caulking between the trim and the door so that it would have a seamless finish. And that's all it took. The door looks great, so much more modern than the plain boring slab of white that was there before. You can play with different designs and patterns to fit your design style and create a door that reflects your style and that you love. Thanks to Westlake Royal Building Products for sponsoring this video. Check out the link in the description to shop the products used.